Hey, what's up, everyone? It's me, Dre. I'm just making this video. I was just looking at CNN.com. I go there a lot. I always say that because I get a lot of good content from there. Recently, I don't know if this is on the 4th of July, which was Friday, or the 3rd, which was Thursday, of course. Um, there was an incident that happened out in Los Angeles on the I-10 where um, a woman was assaulted. I'm going to say assaulted by a police officer. Now, for me, I'm not one to get on a video and ever despair to talk down about cops because I think it's a thankless job. I don't think they get enough credit. And in my 43 years of life, I've never really been accosted by a police officer. I've been pulled over, but it's usually my fault. I will acknowledge that because if I've been speeding and they caught me, that's my fault. Uh, I've never been harassed by a police officer, so I'm not going to talk bad about cops or say fuck the police or anything like that because that's not my mentality. I have nothing against cops. I think they serve a purpose, although I do think that sometimes when you see shit happen, there's never a cop around in some cases, but in a perfect world, you know, that's it's supposed to happen, but that's it doesn't. All the same, with this video, um... I've watched the video, so it's not like you're going to see my reaction. I just wanted to provide my commentary uh, with this. Uh, the cop, or at least from what I understood about what happened, they were on the freeway, and the person who recorded the incident, uh, when he spoke to a reporter, they said that um, there's a traffic, a lot of traffic, and you can see that in the video, and the woman was on one side of the car, cop was on the other side. I guess someone had pulled, or had called, excuse me, because she was walking along and when the cop did arrive he tried to basically get her to come over to the sidewalk so he could talk to her she didn't want anything to do with it so she started going around the vehicle and at that time about the tail end of where the cop was going around one way and she was going the opposite way and back and forth uh, that's when the recording came in and you hear the person who's recording you know him and the people in the car that they were in were laughing and then she walks off the truck that they were circling her and the cop moves away and from what I see the cop you know kind of goes up behind her or moves up behind her and either grabs her shoulder or grabs her bag and upon contact she offers resistance in a form of pulling back as a tug of war and through a momentum, he was able to wrestle her down. Now, from there, he started raining down punches on this woman. Um, and if you look at the video, she's not offering any resistance. It's not like the Rodney King case where you see the cops standing over him, raining down blows from their batons, and he's just reaching up to try to intercept the blows. He wasn't fighting back, usually as a child or something like that, or even if you see like a schoolyard fight or some sort of... Um, street fight out on on YouTube when someone's punching you see the other person trying to reach out to intercept it and this woman did not try to do that she turtled up she covered up uh, to prevent any massive blows to her face and all that uh, he's sitting there pulling at her he's got her in a full mount so he's on top of her and he's raining down blows about 11 or so blows the guy who recorded in another interview said that there's actually a few more about 15 to be exact but all the same you're talking about a guy um, physically imposing as a police officer mounting a pedestrian and raining down punches on this person a woman at that and then of course they drive off as far as the person who's recording they drive off so you don't really get to see what happened now also on CNN.com you know they had some interviews with the police chief and he was saying of course no one knows what happened as far as at the very beginning because you only catch what happens when the incident is occurring and that is true you don't see what happens uh, from the police officers account the one who I say assaulted the woman he said that she is walking erratically on the streets or between traffic, and she posed a threat to herself as well as motorists. I can understand that. Does it deserve being beat down? Absolutely not. Arrest? I can definitely say she should have been arrested, taken to jail for the night, have someone in the, from her family call well, called to come and get her. But the actions of this police officer were definitely inappropriate. So... Uh, there's going to be a lot of outcry because of this. 
is just another form of a lot of would say police brutality. And I would have to agree, uh, L.A. cops are not the favorite in the country because of incidents that happen, like with Oscar Grant, with Rodney King. There's a lot of other incidents that have happened out there, and it happens all over. There's pockets of incidents that occur. Uh, but at the same time, I'm not saying I'm going to defend the officer. Usually when a cop has to get out of his vehicle and approach someone, it's already a heightened situation. You don't know what that person that they're approaching is going to do, whether they're going to pull out some sort of weapon, whether it's a knife or a gun or a stick, whatever. Uh, the, office, the officer always has to account for that. But when you're talking about running up on a woman, pulling her down, mounting her, and then throwing punches, beating her into submission when she has already yielded, I would definitely say that this cop needs to lose his job. If anything, I'm pretty sure because of the investigation, he's only going to get a slap on the wrist. Unfortunately, there's no justice that's going to be for this woman. They'll try to flip shit around and say that it's her fault. And once again, her erratic behavior walking in and out between traffic even though it's rush hour so it's not like there's a car bearing down on her at 50 miles per hour so that she could actually get hit and she was just playing matador with the vehicles but uh for her stepping in and out of vehicles there's some culpability on her behalf so yes she needs help but the cop definitely doesn't need to be on a job doing that to a pedestrian, a woman, and it could have been a man as well, it could have been a teenager, but what he did was highly inappropriate. Um, I hope that they take severe action against him, but the way I see it, they're probably only going to give him administrative leave with pay while they uh, investigate that, and then they might sit him at a desk, um, but at the same time, they might put him back out on the street. But go ahead and leave comments. You know, I always appreciate your comments. Share your views. If you like this video, I hope that you like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to hit that like button. Peace.